Hello everyone, I hope you are doing very well. Welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. The NIT we are going to talk about today has its home in the city which is also known as the Steel City of India. I think you have guessed it right. Yes, I'm talking about the National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur. So today we are going to talk everything about this NIT, about its campus, courses, fee structure, placements, cutoff and a lot more. And if you want to know students opinion about this NIT, then do watch this video till the end. National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, earlier known as the Regional Institute of Technology, was established on 15th August 1960 as a joint venture of Government of India and Government of Bihar. NIT JSR has been awarded a rank band of 101 to 150 by NIRF 2023 among the top engineering colleges of India. However, the NIT was ranked 90th in 2023. Let's have a glimpse of the wonderful campus of NIT Jamshedpur. NIT Jamshedpur is located on the outskirts of Jamshedpur, Jharkhand, which is spread over an area of 340 acres. The campus is a perfect blend of the natural beauty of the countryside with an urban glamour of an industrial area. The campus includes the main building, the library, the computer centre, hostels, seven for boys and six for girls, and two are still under construction, staff quarters, guest houses, a student gymkhana, a post office, a branch of State Bank of India, two ATMs, central store and a dispensary. The NIT also has well-maintained sports facilities with courts for basketball, volleyball, badminton and tennis along with cricket, hockey and football grounds. Now let's talk about the courses offered here at NIT Jamshedpur. NIT Jamshedpur offers a wide range of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral level programs under the domains such as humanities, engineering and science. The BTEC is the flagship program and the courses that come under this domain are Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Metallurgical and Material Engineering, Production and Industrial Engineering and Mathematical and Computational Engineering. The eligibility criteria for seeking admission in one of these courses is same. In fact, all the NITs follow the same eligibility criteria and admission process. So the students seeking admission in one of these courses, first of all, need to qualify JE main exam and meet the required rank cutoff in the specific branch. Secondly, pass class 12 board examination with science stream with the core subjects that is physics, chemistry and mathematics. 5% is the required percentage for general category students and 65 is the required percentage for ST, SC or PWD candidates. Further, the students will get registered themselves in the JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in the J main. The selected candidates will further get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. For foreign students, they get selected through DASA or ICCR schemes. Talking about the fee structure now. See, the tuition fee for general category candidates with family income greater than 5 lakh per annum is 62,500. So the total fee that comprises of the institutional charges, one-time fee payment, tuition fee and hostel fee is together going to be somewhere around 8 lakh for the entire BTEC program. However, there are some fee waivers offered by the government at all the NITs, like 100% tuition fee waiver to the ST, SC or PWD candidate, full remission of tuition fee for the general and OBC candidates with family income less than 1 lakh per annum, two-third of the remission of tuition fee for the candidates with family income between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. In addition, the NIT offers certain scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. And in order to get complete information on the NIT Jamshedpur Scholarship, do visit the National Scholarship Portal. The link is given in the description. Let's talk about NIT Jamshedpur placements now. NIT Jamshedpur holds a good reputation for placing its students in good companies. So if we talk about the placement statistics of 2023, 250 plus companies visited the campus with 90 plus new brands. During NIT Jamshedpur placement 2023, a placement rate of 98.87% was recorded, with 100% placement in the branches such as Electronics and Communication Engineering, 
electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and metallurgical and material engineering, followed by other branches with around 97% placement rate. In addition, the highest package offered stood at 83.4 lakh per annum, which was drawn from three branches computer science and engineering, electronics and communication engineering, and electrical engineering. If you talk about the average CTC, Computer Science and Engineering branch received the highest average package of 26.63 lakh per annum, followed by ECE branch with 22.03 LPA. The average CTC calculated of other branches was like Civil Engineering 9.57 lakh per annum, Electrical Engineering 17.98, Mechanical Engineering 10.25, Metallurgical and Material Engineering that stood at 9.42 lakh. Production and Industrial Engineering that stood at 11.37 lakh per annum. Now, this near 100% placement rate makes NIT Jamshedpur itself a popular choice among the engineering aspirants. Now, it's time for NIT Jamshedpur Cutoff. Cutoff 2023. See students, as we all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved. 50% for the home state candidates and remaining 50% for the other state candidates. So let's have a look at the NIT Jamshedpur Cutoff 2023. Here is the branch-wise cutoff for the session 2023 after the sixth round of JOSA counselling. Let's start with civil engineering. Rank cutoff for the civil engineering branch closed at 48,303 for home state candidates after the sixth round. Whereas for other state candidates, the closing rank was 43,745. For Computer Science and Engineering branch, the rank closed at 10,570 for home state and 9,204 for other state candidates. For the Electrical Engineering branch, the closing rank was 25,461 for home state candidates and for other state candidates, the same stopped at 20,752. Talking about Electronics and Communication Engineering, the opening rank was 9,531 and closing was 18,924 for home state candidates. Whereas for other state candidates, the opening rank was 11,838 and closing was 14,181. And yes, if you want to know category-wise rank cutoff, like for ST, SC, PWD or for girls students, then do visit the link given in the description. Now let's talk about NIT Jamshedpur festivals. There are quite a few festivals take place here. The three annual festivals are OJAS, which is a techno management festival. Now this showcases the technical and managerial skills of the students. The second is Urja. This one is an annual athletic sports meet. Then is Curl Fest, the annual cultural fest. In addition, there are branch wise festivals also conducted annually like Cognitio. Annual Festival for Mechanical Engineering Students Technetia An Annual Festival for Students of Metallurgical and Material Engineering from all over India Vidan A Civil Branch Festival managed by Civil Engineering Society of NIT Jamshedpur Now it's time for Students Review Now let's find out what do the students of NIT Jamshedpur have to say about the NIT The students say The atmosphere here is very friendly with a wonderful stay the seniors are helpful. The NIT deserves 5 star for its exemplary, supportive, knowledgeable and highly qualified faculty. The NIT is strict with regard to ragging. The hostel provides unlimited internet access through LAN. Mess serves tasty foods 4 times a day. Classrooms are not air conditioned. The labs are decent with many modern equipments. Are some of the reviews given by the students. The flowing river and picturesque low hills on one side and the extended large tracts of forest on the other makes the campus the ideal place for higher learning and research. Moreover, known as the steel city of India, NIT Jamshedpur is blessed with an industrial belt comprising of large-scale and medium-scale industries such as Tata Steels and Tata Motors, making it more prominent for the recruiters for placements. So the college is overall good and the high placements rate makes it more likable. Rest the decision and hard work is all yours if you could make it here to NIT Jamshedpur. As this was all from me today. Now you let me know which other NIT do you want me to review next. Do not forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.